Okay, a couple of the applications in short form too. If a guy is going to grab you here like this, don't do anything, right? But he grabs you like this, what he'll do is he'll, it's a sneaky attack. He'll pull you and clock you. Most people are not going to have the wherewithal to move their foot, so this upper body is going to turn into that. Boom. Another thing that would happen commonly is they'll grab you here, and then they'll come in and they'll take your knee out. So they might do something like this and drop you down. All right. So you're going to grab me here with this left hand on my left shoulder. He'll pull me back, and then that would clock, see? Okay? When he grabs this and I feel the pull, the first thing I do is I'll let this arm come. So as you pull, this is going to come around. Now, if he has his elbow up high when he pulls, it will catch it like that. If he has it low, it's going to come over top. But this is coming in, and if this other block is coming in, it's also there. And then the punch, my punch is happening, which is driving him all the way down. But for the form, he's going to pull me. I'm going to let this go first, turn around, and in this case for the form, it's going to go right here. And that was what you would see with your form. So pull, that happens first, and that's a very bad punch, right? You okay? You need a key off, all right? So that's a very bad punch because they're open, all right? So then you're doing a stacking action. If you were to come in and punch, do a straight punch here, this action of coming like this can also be done with a sweep. See? So this caddy can be a sweeping action. Or if he punches, I can do it on this side. This caddy would be a sweeping action there. As long as you take the balance up top like this, then when the balance up top is taken, it's very easy to get the guy down below. Okay? So that would be one of the applications of that. Now, if he comes over with a weapon and he's going to hit like this, okay? So if he's hitting from the back here, I'm moving out of the way, and then I'm coming, I'm raking down the body. Let's get back to the camera. Raking down the body. Now if I if I have my center up in this way, this is gonna rip, come back up. Look at that. And then I'll dump it over here. Take the weapon. Okay. So in this action, it's whoa, getting out of the way, coming in. Let's get a little closer. Again, I see it, whoa, getting out of the way, coming in there, driving down, back up, and then back down again. Or I can take him down on the first action, whoa, get that hand up there, and drive him down. Okay? That's another action. Okay, now the next one, he's going to kick me with the right, kick me with the, uh, the left kick right here. I'm going to do the uh, straight kick, straight kick. That's what we're looking at. So when this is coming around, push through, I take the energy and I come off like that. And then what I'm doing is I'm coming in with a palm heel. Coming in behind the guy with a palm heel. Now we're driving down again. Alright? Do the right kick this time. I go away from it, coming into there, boom, and palm heel. Okay, we'll do that one again. Right kick. Okay, so the hands as they clear, again, right kick, if his punch is coming, the hands are clearing as they come across, the kick is coming in, and the palm heel hard and heavy. And when you do that, you're going to focus your energy, so it's like this, around, sweep it, and like that. Okay, and then uh, in the last action, He's going to come with a round punch again. Coming around, whoa, getting up under there, and now it's good night. This with a lever claw. Okay, one more time. He's going to come around, whoa, boom, that hits, and slip that lever claw right in there. Again, covering out the up throws. Thanks, Donna. it. Okay, so here we go. Short two, you guys ready? Here we go. Thank <laughs> you.
And you notice I don't do this as fast as I can. It's not to see how fast you can be. It's more to focus each of your shots. 